So the next skill is how to listen to the horse's gut sounds. I will demonstrate that. And you also need to be able to quantify your gut sounds in the sense that they can either be normal, they're kind of almost continuously um, present, they can be decreased, which means you have to listen to the horse's abdomen for a while to hear any gut sounds. They could be increased, meaning that you just hear a lot of them in the area that you're auscultating and it's also possible that you hear no gut sounds whatsoever. So you always want to compare the four quadrants that you are listening to and if you ever examine a horse after a colic surgery, for example, that's when you kind of get the full spectrum of um, different variations in gut sounds that you can hear. So we have four quadrants that we want to evaluate on the horse. This is the upper left quadrant. We'll place the stethoscope in this area. This is the lower left quadrant and then we'll use the same locations on the right hand side for the upper right and lower right. And what's important here is that you listen long enough really to get a good idea on what your uh, intestinal activity is. We'll move to the other side of the horse. In a horse in which you suspect that it might have sand or um, sand colic, there is an additional area that you want to listen to. That area is on the lowest spot of the abdomen, on the midline, roughly a hand behind the xiphoid process of the sternum. So I'm going to place my stethoscope in that area. And if sand is present you might hear the sound of the ocean or how it would sound at the at the beach <laughs> 